welcome back to the lakes. So on the cards for today is Skidor. Um, I've got four fells all together, Long Scale Fell, Skidor Little Man, Skidor and Bakestall. Um, Skidor and Little Man I have done previously about 10 years ago, so they're not new ones for me, but Bakestall and Long Scale Fell are. Um, I think it's about 11 miles and exciting. I've got my running shoes on. So I'm gonna give it a go. Don't know how it's going to be um, because there's a little bit of snow up there. Um, but yeah, I'm just glad to finally get out and get up here. Right, let's crack on. Absolutely beautiful day. It's very cold. The ground is very frozen. So I am going to have to be careful running. I feel very overdressed because I've got my thick jacket on and I don't really like running in this. Probably get too warm. But considering I'm going to be out for about four or five hours and there is snow up there, I didn't want to risk leaving it in the car. Um, I have got my waterproof jacket in my bag, but if something was to happen and I get stuck up here in the cold, it's not really gonna keep me that warm. So I've been off work all week and it was my intention to come up a couple of times, um, do a, maybe a walk one day and a run another day. But the weather has been horrendous. It's been gale force winds, rain, snow. Um, so I just haven't come up. Um, today was the only decent day, weather-wise. Still very cold, but there's not the gale force winds. I think the wind is gonna pick, pick up again later on this evening. Um, but hopefully I'll be well on for then. Um, so yeah, I mean, it looks absolutely lovely. There is a bit of snow up on top. Um, I won't lie, I'm a bit worried about how that's going to be. Um, but I'm hoping it is literally just a dusting and not, not too much. Um, and it is quite fresh, so even if there is snow, hopefully it won't have frozen. Um, because last time I was up here, about 10 years ago, I'll try and find some pictures and post them. But it was literally like an ice rink. I think coming down, I spent most of the time on my backside. 
sliding down because it was just impossible. Um, and that was probably the start of my walking journey. So crampons, micro spikes, didn't have anything like that. Um, but we did it, it was an experience and we had fun. But yeah, just makes me a bit, a bit more apprehensive, especially when I'm on my own. Um, right, let's crack on. They're not about at the weekend. So yeah, that's I think that's the most I've seen at once for they're coming back. Ah. Oh starting to climb up the side of Lonscale Fell now and it's a little bit slippy. Um, a little bit icy, so just taking my time. I've warmed up now, so the jacket's off and in the bag. I'm a little bit scared. Oh, a little bit more snow here. Um, and I've just caught a glimpse over to Skidor and um, I don't know, I'm a little bit scared with how much snow there is, but yeah. Looks beautiful though. Two miles in, nine miles to go. Scale fell now, I can see the curtain. That's one down. Oh, I can feel that wind chill now. Hopefully, I can do a little bit of running to warm up. Um, otherwise, the coat will have to come back on. scale fell. One down, three to go.
well that was short lived got another climb now up to skid our little man um, I say a little climb it's actually a very big climb so just ahead we've got Skiddo little man and then Skiddo just behind it it's quite cold but I feel hot <laughs> um, I've got a flat bit now so I'm going to do a bit of running warm back up before the last push up to little man oh, I'll tell you what I've picked um, I've picked the best part of the lakes to go today all the cloud over on the other fells Hopefully, get up and down these ones before that cloud blows across to here. Oh, a few more people walking up as well. Is doing that thing again where it powers off saying battery low um, still got 50% on the battery so that must tell us that there's quite a big wind chill um, because that happens when it's really cold um, so yeah keep plowing on for now if it keeps happening I'll change the battery um, one in my bag will be a bit warmer for now Right, I've just put my coat on. I don't actually feel cold, but I'm conscious that it's below freezing. There's um, quite a big wind chill. So even though I'm not feeling cold, that doesn't mean it's not affecting my body. So coat on, probably until I'm dropping down off Skiddo, um, and then see how I feel. man oh it's wild glad I put my coat on when I did Whew. Clouds blowing over Blind Catherine now, just behind, and I'm not so far off the top of Skidor, which is the highest point of the day, the fourth highest peak in England. So, yeah. Oh, God. As much as this weather is wild, it just feels amazing to be out in it. Glad of a bit of respite now that I've dropped off the peak. Oh. Sadly, cloud at the top of Skiddo. Um, with a bit of luck, it might just blow over by the time I get there. There's not too much. Um, would be nice to have a view. Push up to Skiddo. 
hopefully wind's getting back up again because we're exposed Shelter there. Oh. It's gone like eerily quiet. I just hear the snow under my feet it's really hard to kind of get your head around how quickly conditions can change it, un unless you actually experience it for yourself you know it was blue skies really lovely just a couple of hundred meters below where I am now and now it's very cold icy and yeah, pretty much white out. Hopefully I'm near the top now. Oh, and it's starting to snow. Great. You know, when I said I was near the top, Not that I can see, but I think I can see a couple of people stood up there and I think I can see a trigger point. So that's a positive sign. Oh. third one of the day highest one fourth highest peak in England um, yeah being hailed on but it's lovely I'm not going to do my usual stand on the trig point because I think that's um, bit silly given the conditions yeah not today right I'm not hanging around because it's freezing so I'm heading straight over um, onto the next one which is Bakestall um, yeah can't see it in front of me um, but I know it's this direction keep an eye on my map um yeah hopefully it'll be a bit um, warmer and a bit less wild once i get down a little
big stall ahead and I'm pleased to report there's no snow up there so once I get off this little bit it should be pretty straightforward to be fair this is really easy to run on because it's soft fresh snow um, it's just not knowing where the footpath is so at least now that I can see where I'm going it's not a big deal miss this it's lovely again it's just surreal the conditions that I've just been in literally 10 minutes ago and now stall fourth and final one of the day and all done before dinner time right so the plan is now drop down pick up the Cumbria way and then it's the Cumbria way all the way back to the car um, so yeah hopefully um, bit of descent now and then the rest should be relatively flat or um, yeah, hopefully runnable right let's crack on I was gonna stop and have something to eat but it's absolutely freezing so I'm gonna find somewhere a bit more sheltered That was quite precarious coming down there um, the ground is really frozen so you don't see any ice as such but it's slippy um, and up until now I've managed to keep my feet quite dry um, and then this last little bit to get back to the footpath so yeah they're a tiny bit wet Right, and now I'm on the Cumbria way. So this is the way I need to go back. I think it's about five miles back to the car. Um, just basically following the Cumbria way. So hopefully straightforward. on the Cumbria way um, I'm just over one and a half miles away from the car now um, so I'm just skirting along the side of Lonscale Fell which is the first um, fell that I climbed this morning um, so you can just about make out the path 
just around the side there and then once I get around there don't think it should be too far back to the car um, and then it'll be job done oh. now this is the junction where I turned off for Lonscale Fell I went up that way and I've just come that way which is the Cumbria way um, so you can see now into Keswick you can see Derwent Water um, and you can see all across to um, the other fells it's lovely about a mile to go um, maybe just a little bit more I've just spotted the car park in the distance now that does make me happy don't know if you'll be able to see it oh I feel like I'm slurring my words my lips have gone numb I don't know if you'll be able to see it because it is quite a way away I can't see it through the camera um, but I'll see just can't see it through the camera but it's definitely there I'm nearly back so before I go I just want to share with you two big lessons from today no actually three um, first one is I'm so glad I took my big jacket um, regardless of how warm I felt down here I knew that there was snow up there and I knew that there was likely to be significant wind chill um, I was tempted to leave it in the car because it's so bulky to run in and if it's in my backpack it makes it really hard um, but if I hadn't have had it and I'd have been up there in those conditions I, I hate to think what would have happened to be honest um, second one next time wear my proper running leggings I've put some different leggings on because they're a little bit thicker but I've spent most of the day pulling them up so that's lesson two and lesson three is to have a bit of bloody faith in myself um, honestly I nearly taught myself out of coming up today so many times I, I woke up about half past five and I was saying I can't I can't go up I've got to be back for when my son gets home from school because he's going with his friends um, I need to make the tea before he goes I need to drop him off um, and in the end I just thought you know sod it get up now get ready be out of the house for seven and I can be back in time um, and a lot of the time I use the weather as an excuse as well um, because I thought it's going to be potentially snowy cold um, I, I didn't know how I'd be in those conditions on my own yeah all in all it's been good um, right I'm just coming up to the car park now let's see what time it is it is half past one which means an hour and 50 minutes say uh, drive home so I'll probably be home before the kids are even home from school so all of that worrying over nothing and the sun's shining now as well all the clouds disappeared Feel like a completely different mountain up there again and there we have it just short of 12 miles three and a half thousand foot of ascent two more worm rights so that's 52 left to do um yeah right thanks for watching i'll see you next time